As you all know, the beef in Jacksonville is crazy, but these last few days have been on a whole other level. A well-known Jacksonville rapper named Jake Jit was shot and killed, and less than 24 hours later, people from his side allegedly got back and left one of their ops in critical condition. In this video, we're going to be breaking down what happened and what led to these events. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. The beef in Jacksonville had been slowing down a little bit due to numerous prominent members getting locked up, but everything would once again get reignited to the max due to an untimely visit to a graveyard. Jake Jit is a member of a set called WAWG and another called Bully Gang, and these sets primarily consist of younger affiliates of the set Six Block, made famous by the rapper Fulio. About four months ago, members of Bully Gang and Six Block went to a gravesite to film a music video for one of Jake Jit's songs. While at the gravesite, a group of them decided to post a super disrespectful picture of themselves in front of the cemetery of one of their dead ops named 23. 23, real name Royale Smith, was a member of Youngin Gang, now known as ATK, and he was one of the people killed in the triple homicide that injured famous Jacksonville rapper Youngin Ace, killed Ace's brother Quan Quan, and killed another one of their friends nicknamed Four. Members of Six Block were allegedly responsible for that shooting. Many members of ATK also claim another set called NHG, standing for No Hospital Gang, and they swore revenge on Bully Gang for posting that disrespectful picture at 23's gravesite. About one month after that photo, members of NHG would claim responsibility for the death of a Bully Gang member. On May 17, 2023, a member of Bully Gang named YBZ, real name Adrian McKenzie, was with a group of people in the 3600 block of Effie Street in the Moncrief area when gunmen pulled up and opened fire. YBZ was shot and two of the people with him were shot as well. They were all rushed to the hospital where YBZ was tragically pronounced dead at just 16 years old. The two other people that were shot survived their injuries. Four days later, YBZ's family attempted to hold a memorial for him on the same block where he was shot. Gunmen returned to the area and opened fire on the memorial where people were gathered to release balloons. A woman was shot in the arm but survived her injuries after being treated at the hospital. It is widely believed that members of NHG were allegedly responsible for this incident as they claim responsibility for it on social media and in a song. Bitch, I shoot like Scottie Pippen, three hit, one missing, swear to God, one lean no witness, swear to God, that chop be glitch, he fell locked up like a sissy, pull it down, gonna make a post, tree white beat like Lotto, we put his stupid ass all on the floor. Shortly after this incident, the house of three NHG members was shot up in retaliation, but no one was injured. Members of NHG would tweet on social media that they were still hungry to catch one of their ops and they would soon allegedly make this a reality. On August 16, 2023, a member of Bully Gang named Jake Jit was driving on the freeway in a green Challenger when a car drove up next to him and started shooting. Jake's car was struck several times and Jake was seemingly struck as well. During the chase, Jake's car swerved off the road and collided with a stationary semi-truck. Jake was tragically declared dead at the scene at just 18 years old. Members of NHG would hint at being responsible for this incident on social media. They recently previewed a song called Bully Down that displays Jake's crashed car as the cover art. One of them tweeted that they warned Jake that this would happen to him. Another one of them posted a story on Instagram hinting that Jake was killed in response to the picture at 23's gravesite. Aside from NHG, Bully Gang also beats heavily with another hood called 1200. Members of 1200 were dissing Jake constantly as soon as the news of his death was announced. Who the fuck is Jake Jake? It's gonna be added to the scope, man. Do we, hey, hey, man, hit different when he kill, man, for real. Oh. Fuck Jake oh. Jake! Oh, man, rest in peace, little Jake Jake, man. Shit. It's too young, bro. Too soon, bro. Too soon. R.P. little Jake, man. What up, boy, see? Murder man that just can get it too, huh? I don't know, fuck a murder man that just can get it too. Oh shit, that what that boy said. No, no, no. <clears throat> hey, nigga, trim. Tell my fuck murder man. Fuck who? Fuck who? Fuck who? Ah, look at your ass. 
pancake. All right, let me chill. I'm tripping. I'm Less than 24 hours after Jake's death, members of Bully Gang and Six Block would allegedly critically injure one of their ops as a get back for him. On August 17, 2023, a member of 1200 named Lacobe was in Crestwood Street near Baron Browning Park when a gunman pulled up and opened fire. Kobe was shot once in the chest and was rushed to the hospital in serious condition. At the moment of making this video, it is unclear whether or not Kobe has survived from the injuries he sustained during the shooting. Members of Bully Gang and Six Block have taken to social media celebrating, claiming that Kobe is dead and that they got get back for Jake. However, Kobe's status has not yet been officially confirmed. I will leave updates in the comment section if anything changes. Man, Jacksonville is crazy. All I can say after learning about the story is to stay out of the streets. All it leads to is pain and misery. RIP to YBZ and Jake Jit, and get well soon to Kobe. Let me know what you guys think about this situation in the comment section, and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.